This is Wonder Kids, a podcast where you ask the big science questions and the amazing SciTech staff find the answers. My name is Zaya and I've been thinking a lot about magnets and height lately because of some questions sent in by Claire and Isaac. Hi, my name is Isaac and I was wondering who jumps higher, the grasshopper or the frog? And to answer those big questions, we have Sham with us today. Hi, Isaac. Who jumps higher, the grasshopper or the frog? I love that question, and it's not as simple to answer as I first thought. I had to do a lot of research on this one. Grasshoppers can jump about 25 centimetres high, which doesn't seem very high, does it? That's about the length of both of your hands together end on end. Do you think you could jump that high? Try it out. You can jump higher than that. Who do you think is the better jumper, you or the grasshopper? It's not fair to compare you with the grasshopper, is it? Because you are so much bigger than the grasshopper. So in science, when we make comparisons about which animals can jump higher or further, we talk about something called relative distance. In this case, it measures how far something has moved compared to the length of its body. That's a much fairer way to compare. So how high can you jump compared to the length of your body? Can you jump twice as high as yourself? I didn't think so. What about the grasshopper? Well, it can jump upwards five times the length of its body. If the grasshopper were as big as you, it would be able to jump over a giraffe's head. Pretty impressive, huh? So we have to say the grasshopper's better than you at jumping high. What about the frog then? Well, this is a bit tricky because there are lots of different frogs, but one of the best jumpers is the tree frog, and they can jump upwards 10 times the length of their body. If the tree frog was as big as you, it would be able to jump over a giraffe standing on another giraffe's head. So the tree frog is definitely the winner. But I'll tell you one more thing before I take the next question. Neither the frog nor the grasshopper is the best jumper in the world. Do you know what is? The flea. They can jump 150 times their height. Okay, on to the next question. How does the company sweat? Hi Claire, have you ever tried to push two magnets together? If you have, you'll know that one way around is very hard and they will push away from each other, but the other way around, they're drawn toward each other. The thing pushing and pulling the magnets is called the magnetic force and it has a direction. Basically, magnets have two ends, a north and a south end, and the magnetic force draws opposite ends together, north and south, but pushes the same ends away. So south and south, or north and north, push away from each other. Ever heard the expression, opposites attract? It's certainly true for magnets. Compasses work because the earth itself is a magnet, and the needle in a compass is a magnet. The earth's magnetic south end is near the north pole, and its magnetic north end is near the south pole. That's a bit confusing, isn't it? But what it means is that the magnetic force makes the north end of the magnet inside a compass turn toward the north pole because that's where the south end of the earth magnet is. If you had a large magnet sitting on your table, it wouldn't start spinning around and line itself up with the earth. This is because there are other forces which stop it from moving. Gravity pulls the magnet towards the ground and friction makes it hard for the magnet to slide across the table. So a compass works by setting up a tiny magnet so that the earth's magnetic force is stronger than gravity or friction. A very small magnet means there's less gravity pulling on it. And if we place that tiny magnet on a slippery surface, there won't be much friction. So the magnet will line up with the earth and point north. One of the best ways to reduce the friction is by making the magnet float, and you can use this to make your own compass. But that's an experiment for another time. Thanks for finding out those answers for us, Sham. So, the tree frog can jump much higher than the grasshopper, and the compass works by using the Earth's magnetic force. We've also learned some new words today. 
Relative distance is how far you've traveled in comparison to something else, like your body size. Magnetic force is the force that attracts the north end of a magnet to the south end of another. Thanks for listening to Wonder Kids. This episode is brought to you by SciTech. Explore your world through wonder.